Hello everybody, it is Yellowfin and we are here at the Jaguar, well I guess I'm recording in Aston right now, but the Jaguar Festival de Elegance with a lot of Jags. We'll go around the whole loop. They made it a pretty nice loop too. Starts with the newer stuff, well it actually starts with two Aston Martins, a Aston Martin Vantage and a Aston Martin DB9. And then goes around from more of the newer stuff to the very old stuff. Starting off with two Jaguar I-Paces, one in white, one in blue. Both very nice. Actually, nice looking electric cars in my opinion. They don't look too futuristic. They sort of fit the Jaguar theme well. Then, Jaguar XJR Sport, very fast saloon car. Another Jaguar XJR over hey, here as well. I got your coffee. All right, the <laughs> <laughs> then we got Jaguar XKR over here. Also a very nice sports car. More Jaguar XKs. Very sweet rides, Jaguar XKR with the British Racing Green as well. Very, very nice. See, they're just, the British engineering of the Jaguar is just always great. They, just the way they keep the same design going throughout the years and just change it ever so slightly, it just works very well for just such a sort of, it's kind of a niche brand. Then we got Jaguar XJ8s over here, more saloons, with just those nice, powerful, big engines in them. Jaguar XJ6 for sale right here. Might have to might have to grab one. Uh, we're not monetized yet, but one day, maybe then we can get a Jaguar XJ6 project ride. XKR convertible too. Probably one of my more favorites. They're like late 90s, early 2000s. Supercharged engine, very sweet. And we'll continue around this way. Another XKR, or not XKR, XK8 I mean. Very nice as well. They got about a, trying to think, about uh, 5, 6.3, 5.7, something around that range in the 0 to 60. These Jaguar XK8s. XJRS Coupe, that's more of like a 6.3 second 0 to 60, but still, for a 90s sort of sedan coupe type thing, XJRS, 6.3 second 0 to 60 is really solid. XJS over here, these got about like 6 second 0 to 60s. V12, 5.3 liter, as that sign says. Very sweet though, very nice rides. Another XJS over here, all verts too. Convertibles, I got, I like them a lot more. I do like a good convertible. That's where the Jags are also nice. They know how to make a good looking convertible. Pretty much, I'd say about, quick look around, I'd say about 50% of these are convertibles, which that's how you know they're making good convertibles then. If the people that want to buy them and take them out to the shows, pull up with the convertible with the top draft. Another XJS, then we got a XJ6 over here. We're slowly getting to the more older Jags. And then as you'll see, another XJ6 right here. And then the lineup of Jaguar E-types. Got one in red, yellow one over here. Then we got a black one right here with the um, hood, I almost said the top, the hood pulled open. As you can see, we'll, we'll look at the engine on this yellow one right there. Big ol' engine in this little lightweight car. Gives it a zero to 60 in about 6.9 seconds, which for like the late 60s, early 70s is rapid. Is actually really fast for these cars. Most of them are convertibles too. Couple coupes, another E-Type. Got a silver E-Type, then a blue one as well. Very nice. V12 E-Type too. Big ol' engine in it. And then the last two cars for the old ones in the about a circle loop lineup is two Jaguar XK 120s from the 1950s. Oldest cars we got here, but now we'll move on to the more heavy power type of cars. Jaguar F types, the supercar of Jaguar, you could say. A lot of Jaguar F types all in the middle. A lot of verts, quite a lot of them. F type S, another F type S. But these things make like 400 horsepower. They got like 3.5, 3.6 seconds here to 60s. Like these things are just absolute rockets. But honestly, don't see them too often. And that's the thing. They're kind of like the combination of a Lamborghini and a Bentley. Nice luxury, but with fast V8 sort of muscle type power. They're like British muscle cars pretty much. Another, here's a new one too, R-Dynamic. Pretty sure this one's got four-wheel drive. 
super sweet right there. That's a 2023, I'd guess. I got another 2016 F-Type. And there's one thing in the middle, well, the other thing under the cover, but don't know what that is. But the one thing that did catch my eye right here is the Concept 2016 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. 575 horsepower. Pretty sure it came in Roadster only. Super crazy. Carbon fiber splitter on the front. Project 7 decal is all around it. Got the number 7 on the side for the Project 7. 3.7 seconds 0 to 60, I'd say. 180 mile per hour top speed. This thing's just crazy fast. Full carbon fiber wing, too. Right there. Yep. Full carbon. Quad exhaust. Carbon fiber diffuser. Huge one. Let's zoom in real quick. Yep. Full carbon diffuser. It's crazy light, but also crazy fast. Even got those carbon fiber rear view mirrors. Just absolute unit of a car. So yeah, lots of very nice rides over here at the Jaguar Festival de Elegance car meet. I walked right over to the music when I was about to do the outro, but very, very nice rides here. And a lot of very nice Jags. It really just shows the history of Jaguar the whole way around the loop with all of pretty much their best cars. No XJ220, but you're not gonna see an XJ220 at a meet like this. I mean, maybe, maybe that's what's under that cover, but no, nah, no shot. Honestly, let's look at that cover. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure it out, maybe. It just looks kind of like another. Honestly, I don't even know. It's got some interesting shape of it. Maybe if one of y'all know it in the comments. It's got more of a flatter back end, kind of like a Jaguar XK of some sort. But if one of y'all know in the comments, then just comment it below. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to see more car meets and car spotting and other cool stuff. I'm Elephant, and goodbye.